Hello, I'm Christina the Light Painter. Welcome to my channel. There are so many wonderful light painting effects you can try. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do light painting with stencils. These effects are done in the camera and you can easily achieve these by following these very simple steps. First of all, you want to gather all your materials before you start. You'll need mat board, an X-Acto knife, a somewhat transparent white background, two stands to hold your background, and two clamps. For your light painting tools, you're going to need a fiber optic tool and a hooded gel. You can purchase these at lightpaintingbrushes.com. You can also prep in advance blue, green, and teal filters that will be taped to your flashlights. You can use the light excursion RGB flashlight. You will also need some black cloth, black duct tape, a lens cap, of course your camera, a cable release, and a tripod. So you want to have all these materials ready and kind of set out and um, ready for you to grab as you need. You want to print out a large image in black and white. I recommend at least 13 by 19 inches. That's a standard size for a color printer. Then you want to cut this out and trace it on the mat board. And then you want to cut this out with a very, very sharp X-Acto knife and make sure your edges are really neat. This creates a sturdy template. Keep both parts, the negative and the positive. When you're done, you're going to want to go in with a black Sharpie and just color in the edges with black Sharpie. You want to set up your white background. I use a large pop-up background that is easily able to be clamped using two background stands. Then what I do is I take the negative stencil and I tape that to the front of the background. I set up my tripod and my camera, my cable release. I put my settings to ISO 100, F10, and I have my camera set to bulb. You then want to focus your shot. Okay, so focus in on your negative stencil. Also, make sure you set your camera to manual focus. Okay, that's highly important because if you don't, your camera will automatically start trying to focus. Okay, so make sure before you turn off the lights or do anything, you set your camera to manual focus. So um, then what you want to do is take your fiber optic tool, okay? So that should be all set up and ready to go. You always want to have it somewhere where you can easily grab it. Now, if you're using a flashlight with a, a blue, a green, or a teal filter taped to the end, you will just switch out those flashlights using the one fiber optic if that's all you have, okay? If you have three fiber optics, then set up one for each fiber optic. So Look at your tools, see what works for you. Or use the light excursion flashlight, which will let you change between colors easily. All right, so you're ready to go. You've got your exposure started, and you go behind your white background, okay? So you're going to go to behind the background, and you are going to make sure that you take that fiber optic and you drag it across your background in all the areas where your negative stencil is, okay? So you want to make sure that you go th over every single part of that stencil. And I just switch between the colors, you know, green, teal, and blue, okay? And once you're done with that, then what you're going to do is you're going to grab your lens cap you're going to do this in the dark, okay? So make sure you have a good awareness of where everything is. You don't want to be tripping over light stands or your tripod legs. So you're going to go over to your camera, and you're going to put your lens cap right over the uh, camera. And then I take a piece of black fabric, and I kind of put that over the camera, making sure I don't move the camera in the process. Then what I do is I go turn on a very low light, okay? And what that allows me to do is to see how I can easily then put in my positive stencil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go behind my background, and I'm going to place my positive stencil. I'm going to line it up with my negative stencil, okay? I can kind of see it through my background a little bit, and I'm going to line it up. I already have tape on it. It's all ready to go. All I have to do is just kind of press it into place, all right? Then I'm going to go to the front of my background, and I'm going to remove the negative, okay? So now my positive stencil is all set up. 
And what I'm gonna do at this point now is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna flip the lights off, I'm gonna take my lens cap off, and I'm gonna remove my fabric. Then I'm gonna go behind my background to where my positive stencil is set up. I'm gonna take my hooded blue gel, and I'm going to use a very, let's say a mi medium power, um, power output. I don't want it to be too bright, I don't want it to be too dark, so kind of a medium setting. And I'm going to take it and kind of move it in a kind of a circular motion, but making sure it's right in the center of my stencil. And I don't do it for too long, okay? Then I'm going to switch to my fiber optic. I'm going to just go through all three colors, the blue, the green, and the teal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the center and I'm going to move my fiber optic out to the edges, to the sides. So always starting in the center and moving out, center and moving out. And as I do this, I'm dragging it across the fabric, okay? I'm dragging it across the stencil and the fabric. I'm gonna do that for a little while. I'm just switching between the colors. Um, and then what I'm going to do after I'm all done with that is I'm going to go back to my camera and I'm gonna turn off my exposure because I'm completely done. Now, I highly recommend that um, before you do this combined exposure, that you do test shots for each step. So you do a test shot for your negative exposure. You kind of figure out what the power needs to be for your flashlight, how, what your you know, f-stop should be, um, and figure out how long. Like, I would kind of count in your head like how long you're doing each color, because you're gonna be doing blue, till and green. So kind of get that all set up and then do a second test for just the positive one. You know, figure out how long you need to do the hooded gel in the center to get kind of a burst of color in the middle. Uh, make, and also you want to check, you know, how long as well as the power output. Because you have to think about, you don't want to overexpose it, right? If it's overexposed, then you have to start all over again. So um, test that out and then test it out also using the fiber optic. So do a combination of the hooded gel and the fiber optic. And so get your general exposures for both of these. Get them down in your head so you know exactly what you're doing. And then once you do that, go in and do your combined exposure. Here are some of the results that I achieve. It is nice to have the stencil slightly off so that you get a black outline, which gives the design a 3D popping look. It's kind of a cool effect. It kind of makes your designs pop. Please like my post and subscribe to my channel, Christina the Light Painter. I can also be found on Instagram under Christina the Light Painter and also Facebook under Selena the Light Painter. Also look in the info below for useful links to tools used in this video.